Oh, there we go. Another victim of Hurricane Ian. That was a dock a week ago. All right, it has been a while since we've been magnet fishing and kayak fishing. So we are gonna combine the two today and try to see if we could find any metal under all these old docks here. I also brought a rod just in case we see some schools of fish out there that interrupt us during our magnet fishing. Let's do this. It's a beautiful day. The hurricane's gone. The sun is finally back out. The water level is still high, so uh, that'll be interesting. It's also quite cool out. It's like 70 something degrees, light breeze, a little chill in the air, but the sun's still beating down. Uh, it's like a perfect combo, gorgeous day. There's definitely some damage to this dock. You can see a lot of it is submerged over here. There's boards popped up. Yep, another victim of Hurricane Ian. Looks like this used to be another dock right here. If you follow the water, there's the end of the dock with what looks like a rod holder. All right, we are anchored up. Let's toss out this magnet. Oh, a lot deeper than I thought it would be. All right, we got a hook. First find. All right, let's see if we can do better than that. All right, let's go a little further out. Something, I felt something. Oh, there we go. Got a screwdriver. Not too shabby, a little rusty, but decent shape. All right, let's try a new spot. Wasn't much more going on over there. Wow. All the rain submerged this dock. This is a dock right here. I know it's hard to see. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but this is a dock. I'm kayaking over a dock that was submerged by the hurricane. <laughs> See that? Oh, well, this is kind of creepy. I am on a fishing pier that is submerged underwater about one foot. Actually, let's get an accurate measurement. All right, I got my ruler out here. Let's see. We got about eight inches underwater, this fishing pier. That is wild. There's the, uh, there's where the pier begins. There's the park. And then the pier comes all the way out to here. Makes like a little T shape. And there's the edge right there. You don't want to step down there. So here's the beginning of the dock. Look at all these fallen branches from the hurricane. So it's actually not even the beginning of the dock. This is still, this is land, it's supposed to be land. And then you get to these little pillars here. That's the actual beginning of the dock. There we go, I just stepped on wood. And the dock just goes all the way out past my kayak, all underwater. 
All right, I am gonna magnet fish this dock, but before I do that, I wanna make sure there's no fish under here. All right, it's magnet fishing time. We're gonna bob this magnet up and down the edges of this dock and see if any fishermen left some goodies for us. Not feeling anything yet. Oh, did get something. Another tiny hook. Nada. Oh, I got something heavy. What is it? Oh, oh, that's just my anchor. All right, it's time to move on from this dock and find another location. All of these were docks, now submerged underwater. All right, we're heading towards what used to be a construction site. So if there's any place that has the potential to have metal, tools, whatever down there, it's this place. Here goes nothing. Oh, we got something. What is this? Seriously, what is this? It's a big chunk of metal. I'm not sure what this was. Maybe a screw at one point. Oh well. Hunk of metal. Another piece of metal. Oh, there we go. Looks like we got a two for one -er. We got a very large bent nail with barnacles attached to it. Look at that. And a very large ring. Was that a washer? And a couple little what is that? I thought that was a bullet for a minute. And some little metal debris here. All right, not too shabby. Another piece of something. Little metal parts here. On to the next location. Ah, oh, looky here. We finally found a dock that's not underwater. That's because it's a floating dock. See over there, it could bob up and down depending on the water level. See right here, it's a floating dock, so depending on how much the water level rises, it'll just rise with it. But over here is not a floating dock, so it did submerge on the uh, beginning of the dock here. This ramp, the ramp submerged. But once you get to the wood, that's the part that floats. All right, since we're here, we might as well throw the magnet. All right, not much action on this duck. I think I'm gonna call it quits with the magnet fishing, but I am gonna continue fishing fishing. So we're gonna cast out the line, see if we could get anything before heading home. Off we go. So I am just letting the current drift me back. And I must say, this is one of the most peaceful days I've had in a long time. The sun's shining, but it's not too hot. There's a slight chill in the air. And it's just pure relaxation. I'm loving it. Right 
right there's that dock again that little shady spot that was a dock a week ago all right that was a beautiful morning of magnet fishing 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 we didn't get much on the fishing fishing part but it was still fun i got it trolling behind me right now as we head back so remember if you like this video make sure you get outdoors and enjoy your life do this again next week